Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to take a look at Scorpio and Taurus. Hey guys, Scorpio and Taurus, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over the cards, you see. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you. All right, guys, let's jump, of course, jump into it. Yeah, all right, I'm going to try that again. Hang on, hang on, guys, all right. Okay, there you go. All right, and insert the wand. Hi. Okay, so guys, let's see what's going on with you. Uh, Scorpio, I'm Scorpio. I, I'm shuffling these guys. I see that there are some things affecting you from the past. You have the Three of Swords. It's reversed. Now, typically when I see the Three of Swords, I see heartbreak. I see divorce. I see depression. I see somebody could have had surgery, which could be the case, right? But the true meaning of this card, right, if you look at it on a deeper level, a Scorpio is having some issues um, with past, past relationships, right? So I think, Scorpio, you could be in a stage of reflecting on your life, right? I see where, because this talks about expression, growth, and gropes. Um, but I, kind of, I feel like you have not had the opportunity to come to grips with some sort of rejection from the past, right? That still might be hindering you. This could be your existing relationship with Taurus, where Taurus could have rejected you in the past. It could be something like that, right? Or... It could be you in this great relationship and just wondering, how could I have let these things happen before? I feel like, Scorpio, there's going to be the end of some patterns for you, and you're accepting the truth about certain rejections that happened in your life, right? So you might be facing some kind of sor sorrow about things that happened in the past. Now, when I say the past, it could also be other relationships, but I feel like you could have had some heartbreak in this current relationship or well, as well. This could be your energy. It could be your partner's energy, Taurus, whatever this means to you. All right. But I see also that even though you're experiencing some kind of sorrow when it comes to affairs of the heart, right, things that happened before or something that could have happened recently in this relationship where you weren't very happy or secure about it. I feel like you still decide with the high four aunt that you want to live a more traditional path. Like this is a relationship you're trying to be that traditional person. You're going to play the role of mother. You're going to play the role of father. You're going to play the role of parent, whatever this is to you. So it's very traditional. I see, Scorpio, that you have some very solid beliefs in marriage and partnerships, all right? And you might be actually dedicated, and I think this is you looking at the past. I guarantee going forward, I'm going to try and do my best not to repeat A, B, C, and D. Or past relationships or, babe, I saw you do something that I didn't like and da-da-da, that's not going to repeat itself. I want to live a traditional life. Okay, so I also have for you guys the justice. Now, you could be... Um, going through the same things over and over and over and over again, right? So Justice Perverse talks about repeating patterns. And, it, and you just keep repeating them and you don't necessarily learn the lesson, right? So this could be your own behavior or something that you may have done in the past towards Taurus or Taurus could have done something to you or this could literally just be past relationships where the behaviors are starting to show, hey, you know what? When my all my other partners did this, I did this, and it was never a good result. I'm going to take a more traditional route. So that's what I'm getting for you, Scorpio, in this connection. Also, I have Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Now, notice all these cards here. We have the Eight of Wands. Okay, now, this is what makes me think this could be an existing relationship, and the cards do say existing relationship, or for some of you guys, you could be a newer couple. Um, I see here that there's a new partnership and you're going to end up meeting somebody through friends. It could be at a party. You could meet your new Scorpio at a party or through friends or through some social activity is what I'm showing here. Um, with a group of existing friends, you might meet somebody who's, hey, I just decided to go out one night or I just decided to show up to the birthday party. I found out about it. I came to the da and I met this wonderful person. So some of you guys could be getting together like that. Um, also... We also have this person could be traveling, right? So, Taurus, you could be actually taking a trip here. Um, and taking a trip is the three of wands here. So, you could be going over um, land, trying to travel. The cards are saying here, let me just be very clear. If you are in an existing relationship, these cards are saying, Taurus, if you're in an existing relationship with a Scorpio, you're actually going to get on an airplane or something or a train or something. And you're going to go see Scorpio. All right. So, I see some over air travel here. Um... Or it could be that some of you guys are going to meet this wonderful person while you're out traveling, right? Okay? And if you're already in an existing relationship, you'll be traveling to see your Scorpio. However it's going to go, you guys are going to see each other. Now, we do have the Six of Cups. Now, let's talk about that, Taurus. Okay? This card says that you are in a supporting, loving relationship. So that's what makes me think this relationship is existing, right? Um, 
you guys are so connected you feel like you've known each other before so that's another thing now this could be upon meeting each other where it's such a deep relationship but i i believe for some of you this is an existing relationship and for some of you guys this is going to be a new relationship where you're going to get that support and love that you want where you're able to talk to your partner tell them how you really feel about things and open up about your past I feel like with both of you guys, you've been a little reluctant to open up about the things that happened to you in the past. I feel like you may have had to hold it or suppress it, or maybe it wasn't the right time to express something to an existing Taurus or, you know, so maybe a new Taurus, right? You might, you Scorpios might meet a new Taurus and you're going to be able to express yourself to this person. So this talks about two different types of relationships. Let me see what we can find out for Scorpio. Let's see what's going on with Scorpio's energy here. Ooh, I got these. That one fell. I'm not going to take it. Because I didn't show them. I don't feel like I showed them. So, I'm going to do that. I need some water. Hold on, guys. All right. So, let's see what's going on with Scorpio. Scorpio, tell me a little bit about what's going on with you. What's going on, Scorpio? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. Scorpio. Okay. I feel here that you've had some, uh, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like you're on some mission to get everything to come to grips with things to... Uh, gain a new perspective on things that may have happened to you in the past or in this current relationship. I see where there's a trouble. There's some trouble with conflict, change, and instability, right? And we see that here with three, the Three of Swords reversed. Because this card is telling us that this is past relationships so or some trouble in an existing relationship that may happen in the past. So I see you acknowledging that there's some trouble here. I also see you trying to gain some kind of control of the situation. So we have totality. We have you trying to control the matter. Um, also, what is this? We have laziness. So... You know, I'm not sure if it's you, Scorpio, or your partner, but I feel like you might, you could have a lazy energy towards this, or maybe you feel like it's not worth, uh, I don't know, and maybe you feel like laziness, I don't feel like taking the initiative to something, something, let's see what else this could mean. Guidance, okay, so somebody, somebody needs to be guided. Okay, it's probably you asking for guidance, and I don't know if you're telling people this, but expression growth in groups, you might be telling your partner or maybe you're looking for some guidance from your partner to turn this energy around where you choose not to do anything or say anything, but you're trying to gain control of something. I think this is more internal for Scorpio. I think Scorpio might just be dozing off, looking around, and you're like, yo, man, what's wrong with you? Beyond illusion. I'm not going to tell you what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about how, you know, maybe if I didn't do A, B, C, and D, my life would be in a different space right now. How about if I didn't mess up so many times with you, we could have been together a lot longer, got a lot more things done. So I do see that there's some kind of regret here, but we also see some patience coming in for Scorpio. So I think Scorpio is just gaining a new perspective on the past. And I also see some transformation, which is what I also see in this reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on with Taurus's energy. Let me just put these over here so you guys can actually see them. All right. All right, tell me what's going on with Taurus, please. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. I still am not necessarily clear, but I'm looking at a deeper meaning here. Success. Okay, now, success. That Coming to harmony, looking for harmony. Uh, I think you, you guys are both dealing with some things here. Mm -hmm. I feel like, and this is not for everybody, but I will say, uh... If some of you Tauruses did do something to Scorpio, I bet you guilt might be eating you up and you can't do nothing. You're going to sit right there and suffer. Mm -hmm. Beating you up. But let's see what's next. Silence. Yep. So I see it right here. I'm starting to think that Taurus may be hiding something from Scorpio. And I say that because I'm looking here. This is a silence card. Success. Guilt. Silence. Well, give me one more. Help me understand what this is about, please. Help me understand what this is about, please. Help me understand what this is about, please. Going with the flow. I'm just hanging in there, seeing where things are going to go. We got one more intensity. Uh-huh. Intensity. The dream. Something looking for harmony. Okay. I feel like Taurus is hanging in there with Scorpio or whatever or trying to live up to what Scorpio's. Trying to live up to Scorpio to make up for some of the disappointment. So I see Taurus is really going uh, with the flow. 
whether Scorpio wants to go out roller skating or whatever, some stuff that you may not want to do. I think you might be doing that because you want to stay in good graces. Whatever this means to you. So I feel like there's, there's somebody here who knows that they have to go with the flow to redeem themselves for something maybe. Or I feel like I feel like what leads this to the Three of Swords reversed and reflecting on other relationships because I feel like Taurus may have done something that Scorpio is familiar with. And probably told him or herself, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to deal with this. I'm going to see the signs. And I think Scorpio is looking for the signs. And now here, I see somebody's trying to live or, or, or have a more traditional relationship. The fault could be on Scorpio. I don't know, but it kind of looks like Taurus. That's what it looks like. Um, but I do see Cor Taurus is going to go ahead and do some traveling so they can go over water and see Scorpio. Now, uh, with the Six of Cups, and this one tells us that... Um, Besides having, like, nostalgic memories, right? I mean, a deeper meaning to this, because this is nostalgic gifts, in a sense, it's reunions, right? So we do see Taurus going to travel, maybe to see Scorpio, I would think. But when Taurus is there, I think Taurus is going to say something or express some kind of something like, I don't know if Taurus is doing this because their back is up against the wall here, because you're being advised that you might want to ask Scorpio, or it might be time to ask Scorpio or tell Scorpio, I'm going to introduce you to my family, my parents, whoever, whoever's, um, you know, important to you in your life. You're going to introduce Scorpio or you're, you're thinking about it. Now, I don't know if this is out of an act of desperation because it looks like somebody may have done something here. However, this energy goes for you, but somebody might say, hey, I want you to meet mom. Whatever. Okay. Now, let's just take a look and see. Let's take a look and see what advice we have for Scorpio. Mm hmm. Transformation. I don't know. Any one of you could have done something here. But I feel like Scorpio is more reflecting on the past and why am I uh, accepting these certain behaviors. And then we got Taurus jumping over their seat to make sure they go see about Scorpio because they may have messed up a little bit. I don't know. This is a reaction to something. Scorpio, when I merge my desire with faith, I can take action from a place of peace rather than a place of control. Mm -hmm. When I merge my desire with faith. Okay, manifest. Okay, what else does Scorpio need to know here? Transformation. Mm -hmm. I think Scorpio's looking for some kind of changes, and this is with patterns. Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my, my super attractor power. Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. All right. Hold on. Let's see. Mm-hmm. I feel like you need to be appreciating Scorpio. I heal the habit of fear and embrace the habit of love. Mm -hmm. That's interesting, Taurus. That's interesting. I heal the habit of fear. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think Taurus is going to be stepping out to something and they're going to walk in love now. Um, I think that they might be buying into Scorpio's traditional thingy. I think it might sound good. Besides, these two kind of work together good. Now, this one came out reverse. To begin the practice of allowing... Allowing, I must get out of my own way and let spirit give me direction. This is reverse. So we could see Taurus having a struggle with spirit and just trying to get it together there. And I think that there's going to be some thinking on this trip that they take. I feel like somebody may have stepped out on somebody or somebody notices a pattern of being stepped out on. And they're just like, okay. So that's all I have for you guys. I don't want this to be too long. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Oh, wait. Oh, before I do that, let me just pull one of these. All right, give me one. Give me one card for the couple. Give me the energy for. The, oh, you know what's funny? I don't think I. Yep, I sure did not. I sure did not. And you know what? I think I'll keep doing it that way. All right. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Mm -hmm. And I see folks doing that. All right, by somebody doing the more traditional relationship thing. That's one way of freeing yourself. Okay, and getting control of your life, and also somebody going to. Um, find somebody or visit somebody. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Some of you guys need to let go of these grips. Some of you guys need to free yourselves from things that happened in the past. Let them go. I mean, it's good to reflect. It definitely is, Scorpio. It's very good to reflect, but you can't carry this stuff with you. All right, it's time to move forward. All right, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.
please. Ah, bye guys.